In Cuba, delegates from both the Colombian government and FARC rebels are meeting to discuss resuming the nation's stalled peace talks. The move comes after the FARC released captured Colombian General Ruben Alzate. Alzate resigned from his post following his release. In Mexico, massive protests continued Monday, marking two years since the beginning of President Enrique Peña Nieto's government. Thousands of Mexicans took to the streets to demand the president's resignation. In Peru, 195 countries participating in the COP20 climate change conference are discussing a new binding treaty which would replace the Kyoto Protocol. The final treaty would be voted on next year in the COP21 summit in Paris, France. In Uruguay, the electoral court ratified on Tuesday the victory of broad front candidate Tabaré Vázquez. Vázquez achieved the largest victory in a second round presidential election in Uruguayan history. In Honduras, the government is planning to dismiss 2,000 workers from the National Energy Company. Unions say they will fight the move. Critics call it part of the privatization process that has already seen the firing of over 5,000 public employees.